Gary here from Mr. G Shave, or Mr. G, just call me Mr. G. Um, first of all, an apology for the um, fine mess I got myself into uh, yesterday during my head shave. Um, I must have pushed the wrong button somewhere and um, stopped the recording instead of started it, so I missed the main head shave. So my intention today is to try and do both. Um, so hopefully this isn't too long and I'm going to fly through it without too much comment. Uh, I'll probably have a chat on the way through but um, I'm going to get myself ready. One of the things I did say I was going to try and do uh, was I was going to clean film the soap from yesterday. It doesn't look very pleasant at all so I, I'm not going to be using that. Um, yeah. Don't fancy using that at all, so I'm, I'll clean that up off camera. Uh, so as you will have seen in the photograph, I've got a, a stick of Latoya. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but that's the soap I will be using. Right, in terms of um, hardware, I'm using my, which way around is that? Uh, make sure it's clean. Razor Rock Plisoft brush. It was one of the first brushes I bought six or seven years ago. Very soft, very nice brush, easy to lather with. Uh, I decided about a week ago I was gonna go with this. I nearly changed my mind because I am CDB, just put up a, a, a video with the same razor, but um, I thought I'd go with mine anyway. The Edwin Jagger 316 uh, is the razor for today. I will reuse the Mac 3 for my head. Um, so that's going in the shave bowl as well. That's the hardware. Uh, not using a shave bowl, I'm not using a shave bowl today, but it, the sink I meant. Um, so I'm using the sample of um, sterling rosemary and mint soap there's a pre-shave as i said i'm using the <clears throat> la toya uh, and i've lost the bottom but i'll i'll make do just use that so i don't know where the bottom of that's gone it'll be the first use of that i've seen some good reviews and it's the, the scent on it smells quite nice I'm going back to my Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel after that, followed by Floyd, Floyd Black. Um, so, and then to finish off, the return of the prodigal son, Nivea Men. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna bother with a balm, I'm just gonna go straight with that. So there we go. So that's everything that I'm using today. I'm going to get everything ready and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back again. Um, got everything ready. I'm pretty sure I'm recording this. <laughs> so I've put the, put the pre-shave on. Nice scent to it. As you can see, it's uh, foamed up a little bit. Um, just a bit more water on top. And then I'm going to start with the La Toya. So I'm going to start with the head first. And what I'm going to do is lather it all in one. It was one of my sus subscribers, um, I think it was a gentleman from Pakistan, asked me some time ago if I would do a head and a face shave at the same time. And I declined uh, to do it at that point because I wasn't sure whether my back would stand up to, to doing it but I'm only going to do a quick once over on my head um, and then I'll do the three pass shave and pick up on my face so I just felt such a fool for messing up yesterday um, 
that I thought, well, I'll try and make up for it today. So I'm doing a bit of both. I'm doing the full face shave and a partial head shave because it has grown some bristles back. Uh, normally I'd pick it up with an electric razor. Um, but uh, I thought as I messed up yesterday, I'll go for it. So here we go. So I think we're on shave number 23. Face shave number 23, but it's a bit of a combination. So I'm just gonna go straight in to lather up on the face. I have to say the scent of this is really rather nice. Oh yeah. I like this. Straight up onto the head. I'm probably not going to bother with the top of the dome. It'll almost be like a pickup pass on my head rather than a full blown pass. Um, let's put some more water on. Just so you see me shaving my head a bit, not that I think anybody really misses that, but you saw the important bits of the products I was using, the fact that I was fairly happy with it. I think I might be a bit harsh on the soap that I used. Um, I'm sure that, you know, what is it, Razor Rock and Miguel de France um, is liked by many people, it's just not one for me. Um, it, the, the scent really didn't push any buttons for me, whereas the scent on this does, you know, it's really nice, pleasant scent. It's, it's actually a stronger scent than uh, the Mugue de France, um, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and a far more pleasant scent, so... So there we are. Um, but yeah, I, I, I will probably give that away. I'll do a 250 subscriber giveaway and that will be part of the giveaway. It was never gonna be that in totality. Right, add a bit more water. Um, it'll be an add-on. So, you know, if you haven't subscribed, get subscribing and we'll get to the 250 subscriber giveaway um, sooner rather than later I have to say this is lathering up really well you know the, the first thought one has when you look at a stick shaving you know a shaving stick like Latoya or palm olive or any of the others is you you just don't think it's going to be that good but i have to say um, from experience palm olive is an excellent excellent uh, shaving stick if you can get your hands on it god look at the state of me if i if i was coming out of the pyramids now somebody would think i was a mummy <laughs> But uh, yeah, the curse of Tutankhamun. Right, let's get to it. So I'm ready for my first pass. I'm gonna do my head, which is gonna be basically a pickup pass. I'm gonna go straight against the grain. As you can probably no doubt hear, there is some growth there. I haven't changed the blades from yesterday's shave because I think with these Gillette blades, you don't have to change them, you know, every, on the third shave. I think they can last quite a long time to be fair to be fair to them
But yeah, this is a, a, equivalent to a pickup pass on my head shaves. I'm not going to do the full two passes. So. I'm considering trying out a Gillette Fusion on the recommendation of another YouTuber. He's an Italian guy. Um, he, he recently subscribed to my channel. Um, and he tends to do his head shaves with a Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. Um, so I thought, well, maybe I'll give it a go. I mean, I'm. I, I will never go back to cartridge razors because I don't enjoy using them as much as um, as DEs or the leaf razor. Just going to go across, but I'll give it a go. I mean, I just find the cost of the blades, even at the moment, they're on Gillette. Dot co dot uk I think there's a up to 50% off which basically the 50% you'll only get 50% off the disposable razors which I would never buy on the basis that you know I'm not a, um, a, a green activist or an eco warrior or anything like that but I do think that buying these disposable plastic razors is not going to do the environment any good um, this will probably last a long time, but eventually it will give up. And again, this is plastic and I'm not sure what's, what the, the weight in here is. And there may be some metal in there, but I very much doubt it's recyclable. And certainly the plastic around it isn't. So, so let's just feel around my head. Uh, pretty much, there's a few spots that I've missed, but not much. Oh, whole line there. <laughs> How the hell did I miss all of that? Very slick, this soap. Very, very slick. That's it. The dome or the solar panel, as I like to call it, is done. So, head shave section done. First pass, face shave. So down with the grain. Edwin Jagger 316. I really enjoy using this. I'm using uh, different blades with this. Um, I'm using, for the first time, I need to look at this. Sharp 7AM, Swiss quality, super platinum. So those are the blades I'm using. And at the moment, <clears throat> on the first pass, they feel amazing. They're really smooth. Going through seven days growth very easily. Really impressed with these uh, with this blade and obviously the razor. I have to say the Edwin Jagger 316 and the Razor Rock 0.84 are very similar. But out of the two, I think I prefer this one um, for its smoothness. And maybe there's a slight difference in blade gap. I, don't get me wrong, I love the Razor Rock 0.84. They are almost neck and neck in my, you know, favourite razors. Um, but yeah, I remember my reaction when I first used this and. I was gobsmacked really at how good it was. 
and how different it felt to the DE89 that I've got from Edwin Jagger. Because that's the one thing about Merker and, and Edwin Jagger is up until now, um, most of their razors have had, they've all had the same head. Or at least it looks like they're all the same head, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you've got your variants of the open combs and closed combs and things like that, but the closed comb variants, the, most of the closed comb ones were all the same head as you'd get on the 34C. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm assuming that, I've not tried them, but um, they all look the same. And the same with the Edwin Jagger heads. Most of their heads are all the DE89 head. Could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they certainly look like it. Um, and it puts me off trying something else by them. Um, right, let's go for the second pass. It's going to need some water. A spray. Um, so that's the only downfall for me for Merca, and I love Merca, don't get me wrong, I really do, and Edwin Jagger. Um, but I just think that they need to vary, you know, like Razor Rock have got the single edge blades, they've got open comb, look, closed comb, they've got different heads, you've got the Lupo, you've got the Mamba head, you've got, you know, there are different, completely different heads that they have. Um, whereas, you know, they, they have Edwin Jagger and Merca pretty much stick to three main types of head, I would have said. Having said that, you've got the Merca Future and you've got the Progress and things like that. So I, I guess that's four. But... Even so, I just think that, you know, maybe they could... I mean, Edwin Jagger have done it with the 316. They've brought out a new, completely new design, which brings them bang up to date um, with an amazing razor. And it's certainly one of my favourite razors. I prefer the 316 to the DE89 by a mile. By an absolute mile. So, or kilometre if you're in Europe or anywhere that uses kilometres. So across the grain, this side is straight up. across the grain this side is across very confusing for those new to shaving you've got to map the growth hair growth on your face it's only then that you'll know whether you're going across the grain or against the grain It's just weird that one side grows a completely different direction to the other, but it happens. It happens. Right, third pass. I'm trying to fly through this a little bit because I'm trying to still keep it as close to 30 minutes as possible. And I have to say this Latoya soap is, a, is brilliant. I will definitely be keeping this one in my drawer. And I may try and get some more of it. It's lasted really well. Done three full passes and a head, head pass or a pickup pass on my head. And I still think there's enough in this 
to go for a pickup pass on my face. But I'm not sure I'm going to need it because this feels like a really good, really good shave. So against the grain is this way on this side. That reminds me, I was going to try and do a shave while there's a thunderstorm because it was forecast to be quite stormy today. Yes, it's been really windy. It rained a bit this morning, but really all we've had is broken clouds. It's just gone dark one minute and looked like it's going to rain and then it hasn't really rained. And it, you know, but it's been very windy as you've probably heard in the background, but I was hoping to get some uh, atmospheric sounds, but maybe next time. There's, it's bound to happen. So, against the grain now this way. Yeah, so where I live, we've I've been looking at um, Ventusky, is it? The weather radar website. And all the storms and the lightning and everything has path, passed either side of us. They've sort of gone straight past up the Welsh border and off to the east coast. So it, it, there's, there's been like a corridor in the middle. So yeah, we haven't had any thunder and lightning. And yes, it rained this morning, but not a lot. Um, so let's see how this is done. And I've just lost one of my lights. Oh, we have rain. To be honest, there's a little bit there. Use my beard mitten or beard brush is a little bit there and it stopped raining now just the way it's been So that's me, third pass done. So I'm going to stop it there, clean up, and uh, I'll be right back. Right, back again, cleaned up, ready for post-shave. So I always record mine in three sections. I usually do a product sort of um, presentation at the beginning, then I do the shave, and then at the end of the day, I do, at the end of the shave, I do the post-shave. So. Um, I'm going to use the alum, so let's wet the face down. That was a great shave. I'm glad I only did the pickup on uh, on my head, because if I tried to do the two pass and the pickup on my head, I would be in. I can already feel my back beginning to twinge a little bit. So. Yeah, so here we go, just going over my head again. No real sting, little bit, mild, a mild 
warmth, shall we say, um, to that. So very, very smooth shave with that uh, Edwin Jagger 316. It is a lot more aggressive than the DE89, but the way the head is designed, it just feels smooth. Um, really pleasant shave, um, really enjoyable. So I would say the 316 and the, the EJ316 and the Razor Arc 0.84 are probably my favorite razors. I'm just trying to think. From there, I'd probably, for sentimental value, because the Merca 34C was the first razor I bought, so that would jump in, and the DE89. No, yeah, maybe not the DE89. Um, yeah, I think that's probably where I'd leave it. I, oh, sorry, yes, the Rockwell 6C. Love that. Absolutely love that. So those are my top razors at the moment. Um, for head shaves, it's got to be the leaf. Uh, I mean, the Mac is okay, it's good, it does the job. Um, but, you know, the leaf, I enjoy using the leaf more. Right, let's wash this off. Nice cold rinse. T-shirt all nice and wet. Right, and on with the witch hazel. It's a bit more on the head. This beats them all really for me. I, I, I do enjoy it. I like the Thayers and I like the Humphreys, but that Boots, Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. Oh, love it. And then on with the Floyd, which is only the second time I've used this. Um, so let's put this on. Oh, that's nice. Really nice scent. Oh, really, really pleasant. Uh, Floyd Black. I can see why this is one of IMCDB's favourites. Um, I really can. Very pleasant scent. And I think this will last a bit longer than you two pound bottles of super drug or boots freshwood or whatever but they, they're local chemists in our in the UK so on with the Nivea and this just gives me the feel it puts the moisture back in finishes the shave off so it's the end of the shave and I hope that I've uh, made up for the mishap yesterday um, we haven't had the storm I thought we would have done sorry about that but another time maybe so it's goodbye from me goodbye from the Edwin Jagger 316 great razor great shave See you next time.